To ensure that the memorial can continue to honour sacrifices of Australians who gave their lives in war, a future plan has been developed. Sensitively connected to the existing landscape, the detailed plans ensure the original facade remains unchanged. Comprehensively expanding the space for an enhanced visitor experience, the project will commence with three new components of work. The CEW Bean Building Extension, a new northern hall and atrium with galleries, and a new southern entrance. These will be followed by the refurbishment of the main building and new galleries in the lower level. A new entryway is disguised under the existing forecourt. It's here, below the original structure, that new, enticing spaces welcome visitors to a genuinely connected experience. Moving through the memorial, the detailed plans finally deliver the room required to tell the many untold stories of loyalty and service. While allowing for more artefacts and experiences of Australia's land, air and sea operations to be displayed. A stunning light-filled atrium adds additional extensive display space as well as improved circulation and reflection areas for visitors. At the rear of the main building, the space is repurposed with a new and more extensive multi-level Anzac Hall. providing a seamless visitor journey connected to the rest of the memorial. Beyond the main building, a new precinct completes an emotive visitor experience. Here, the Bean Research Centre will be the new centrepiece of research and access to collection records. A standout feature of the future plan is the Places of Pride display, which highlights war memorials and cenotaphs across the country in a searchable, interactive showcase. Once complete, visitors will be able to discover more stories and artefacts and gain a more comprehensive understanding of Australia's outstanding history of service.